Well, hello everybody, I'm Ted Robinson. Um, we're here today in Oakview, California. That's where my training stable is. Uh, I've been uh, a member of the NRCHA for so many years, I can't count, past board member and everything else. Um, been lucky enough to be seven times an alphabet fraternity champion, two time world's greatest horseman. When you're showing and riding, we all get favorite saddles or favorite things that we like because you gotta be really, really comfortable. Like every time you get a new boots, new pair of boots, your stirrups are too short. You know, everything changes that slight, you know, so we get pretty picky about what we do and what we ride and what we like. And um, <clears throat> me being uh, short-legged, I had a hard time learning to get my feet in front of me when I was stopping. I was, I came from a team roper background, so everything was always forward. So I always was trying to, you know, fall forward. So there's a rig in here that is, whoa, that's on my saddles. Um, and it's called a uh, no bulk rigging. This saddle's made by Bob's Custom Saddles. But it's flat across here like this is what it amounts to. And uh, this flat rigging lets my feet slide forward all the time and it sets back just a little bit further so I don't have that ring and stuff to catch me. So it can all slide forward. And this part, part right here is nothing but a keeper. That's all that is, is a keeper right there. So all that stays flat. So I, I get pretty partial to that rigging. And actually I think I can't ride a horse if I don't have that rigging to be truthful because I don't have that bulk there. And it cinches the same way on both sides so you can cinch it up from either side to adjust your cinch. So that's, that's pretty important to me. I think, um, you know, I darn sure do not ride oxbow stirrups for running down the fence because you can't get your foot out. So I like a, you know, I think that's a two and a half inch flat bottom stirrup is what that is. Um, and also running down the fence, I, I prefer a breast collar. Um, we've seen some pretty good trainers that a breast collar saved their life in Nevada, <laughs> you know, but um, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty important to have that on there because I think horses, when you're running down a fence, take deep breaths and then get that uh, saddle sliding that you didn't think was loose is loose. So that's pretty important to me, uh, you know, to have that breast collar on there. Uh, adjustments in bits, you know, we all have a different idea. Uh, like actually this mare's not used to me, but I, this bit for me is just there's no wrinkles I don't want to wrinkle in the in any part of the cheek or anything like that and a lot of times uh, I'll let uh, my snaffle bits way down in their mouth Like that and uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure why I do that, but I kind of like it I don't like a wrinkle because I always think if something pushes on me a lot I'm gonna get numb so I don't like the wrinkles that you've heard of you know people saying it needs to be two wrinkles here I try not to ever do that. I try to keep that that down in their mouth right there, you know, just where it hangs. And of course, if one, you know, gets where he puts his tongue over the bit a lot, you'll have to pull it up a little bit or something like that. But as a whole, I leave a, a bit fairly long in a horse's mouth. Um, no real reason, it's just something I do. You know, we all do things a little different. Uh, I per if we're talking about snaffle bits, I prefer wider snaffles. I like a wider snaffle rather than a real narrow snaffle. Now, most of them are lengthened out. I like straight mouthpieces compared to the curve in it. I think the straight mouthpiece has more um, uh, effect on the tongue, and that's what I think a snaffle bit's really good at is working on the tongue. So those are kind of some of the things. Um, just um, uh, a snaffle bit always, always needs a brow band head stall. Uh, a split ear head stall, like a lot of times you get a real green horse, he gets his head upside down, that snaffle will slide off the back and stuff. So you always need a brow band on a snaffle bit with a throat latch. Um, this chin strap down here, it's, uh, it's just to keep from pulling through their mouth when you pull, if a young horse, if he really opens his mouth or anything. So it doesn't matter if it's leather, rawhide, chain, whatever you want, it's not affected there. And uh, if you're probably really looking at this bit, uh, these are work head stalls and I break the ties so much that I put uh, zip ties on here because they're really quick and fast. <laughs> My specialty. <laughs>